Next week is our last week of gathering together. Uh, I know there's another week of classes, but uh, I'll leave it to your conscience what you do that time. And also next week being the last week it will be a celebration here. You're welcome to bring in the refreshments and I'll provide some of it later on. Uh, I have to remind you that uh, you have to do something before the semester ends to satisfy me and um, give me some, some reason to give you a grade. It's going to be a letter grade, so please help me and help yourselves. I'm not going to give you assignments to read uh, trilogies of Faulkner, Dos Passos, or James T. Farrell. It's too late for that. You'll get a list of books in the mail uh, by July, I hope. I still haven't finished them yet, so. In the beginning of the semester, I said some very stupid things. I said, art is a sign of decadence. Trust me, it wasn't me speaking. I think the demons of mediocrity, stupidity, ignorance, spoke through me. But now, if you sit very quiet, the true angels are flying over us right now. You heard it? It just went this way. See? <laughs> These are the true angels. We don't have demons anymore in this house. Tonight I want to celebrate art and the artists and to celebrate life, not death. Art has never killed anyone. Art does not kill. Not the revolutionaries, not the terrorists. Only art gives, gives us our freedom. When I speak of art, I'm not talking about painting. When I speak of art, I speak of art in all its glorious manifestations, literature and painting, architecture and theater, cinema and poetry and photography, sculpture and music and dance. All these are human expressions. Artists of the world unite in this unity since there are no two artists are alike. And only artists can change the world, not the revolutionaries. I repeat what I said in the beginning of the semester. I quoted Plato. Plato said, when the rules of the art are changed, the society is changed. This has happened in our recent history, the 60s. Yippies, the beats, and the yippies and yuppies. They changed our society and they did change the course of history. They stopped the wars. And through, through art, it happened, not through bloodshed. In this world of medi mediocrity and uh, materialism and religious fanaticism, warmongering all around us, hunger and despair by millions and millions, art is still our sanctuary. 
art is the center of our being. Because art celebrates life. Today, there must be over 30 different warlike conflicts in all the continents, Africa, Asia, South America, Europe, East, Balkans, Ireland, you name it. Everyone is killing. Killing in the name of freedom or religion. Every two-bit revolutionary wants to change the world in his or her own image. And anyone who does not conform to them must be killed. I cast a cold eye on revolutionaries. They have chosen death instead of life. People are running around with guns like in a kin kindergarten shooting in buses, restaurants, post offices, airplanes, schools, <coughs> shopping centers. What the hell is going on? There are murderers all in the name of God, mostly, or justice. If God or justice stood up in front of that, they would not recognize it, most likely. People pour gasoline over themselves and burn, protesting. People starve to death, protesting. They have forgotten that death begets death, and violence begets violence, because so it has been written. Only art, only through art, we understand the world. Through art, we learn the compassion and sacrifice and the nobility of human spirit. A fool may ask, what is art? You know what Thomas Aquinas said? Pulcra sunt que placent. Pulcra sunt que placent. I'm not going to translate that into English. You are in an institution of higher learning. You should know that. It's like trying to define or saying what is love or what is cinema. Thomas Aquinas was quite right to summarize what is art. And pulcra sunt e placent. And art is not an abstraction. It is not a subject for PhD, art is our daily bread. It has been written, give us this day our daily art. <laughs> Amen. Mayakovsky. Mayakovsky was the poet of Russian Revolution. Mayakovsky was a darling of the masses Stalin loved him. Stalin gave him medals for poetry. Every schoolgirl or schoolboy in those days knew by heart Mayakovsky's short line poems, especially the one that celebrated the Soviet passport. Bard Library has a complete collection of Mayakovsky's work, about 15 volumes, all in Russian. I looked around, uh, I wanted to find somebody to read some in true Russian for you, I could not find. So I looked for the translation, and translations, as you know, are bad. Poetry cannot be translated into another language. Um, uh, this is from the passport I found, this was lined, which came closest to the meaning of Mayakovsky. Uh, at the end, he said, to hell with all governments. Governments come and go, but art remains. Stalin didn't like that at all. Mayakovsky was in disgrace. His books were no longer published. 
and uh, the news came out that Mayakovsky committed suicide, officially. Great poet. My time is running out. We started in deep winter. Now, lilacs are blooming. It's a sign that we're reaching the end of the road here. I still had many things to tell you, but um, I know it's, there's no more time. Time goes on. I would like to read one of Mayakovsky's poems in my translation, but knowing that poems cannot be translated, I took liberty of adapting or bringing up to date Mayakovsky. Most of the words are his. Film projectors, IBM computers with copy protected software and hardware soon will be forgotten. Time goes on, time goes on. Pornography with, with its dirty fingers will pass. The Muppets will turn to rags. The singing alphabet will dissolve in cold soup. The hard rock will become silent. Time goes on. <laughs> Electric guitars will rust in the rain. Synthesizers will short circuit. Nothing, nothing will be left. Everything will be gone. Everything will end up on a heap of time. But art, art will remain only Art will be still there. Nothing, nothing, nothing but art will remain to testify that we existed. Yes, art, art, which is the sum of human spirit. Long live art in all its glorious manifestations. Mayakovsky said that. And now, for tonight, you will see two short films by Buster Keaton, the great physical comedy, and the one by Charlie Chaplin, the kid. Uh, the music under the Keaton films, just accidental music, these were silent movies. But Chaplin, years later, came back and he put his own music to his film, so we'll play it properly. And luckily we have copies of these films on video by Kino International. They were able to reproduce the silent movies at their proper speed, not like the way television shows silent movies at Mickey Mouse speed projected these are pretty close to the normal speed the way they were being intended to be projected at that time. Uh, and as I said, next week will be a celebration here. And uh, you're welcome to bring anything you want. And uh, right now, Ivan is going to do it right. 